And we begin with breaking news. Within the last 20 minutes, 3 News has obtained the incident report for the use of force investigation at Firestone Community Learning Center in Akron. The incident itself happened last Wednesday. An Akron police officer has been placed on desk duty after punching a student who apparently wouldn't go through the metal detectors, the metal detectors, I should say, properly. Danielle Wiggins is live in Akron right now. Danielle, what are you hearing out there? Well, yes, Mayor Shamas Malik, he had a press conference uh, about uh, earlier this afternoon, and he says that there is video of the incident that he found upsetting. Now, Akron Public Schools, they they own the copy of that video and have not released it just yet. We did put it in request earlier this afternoon for the video, but have not received it. But here's what we do know. This is what uh, the mayor said happened and that incident report, which we just received. They say this also happened. Now, according to the mayor and that incident report, a 16-year-old student went around the metal detectors as he entered Firestone CLC last Wednesday morning. So staff escorted the student back to the detectors because it is school policy that everyone entering the school must go through those detectors. So two officers were stationed uh, at the school, one being a student resource officer, a police resource officer, rather, and they tried to get him to go through the metal detector as well uh, when they actually got into a scuffle with the teen. And when that happened, Malik says that the SRO punches the teen three times in the head. Now, right now, APD is conducting an internal use of force review around the incident, and this comes as the city is undergoing a review of the use of force policy. This is about a long-term commitment to changing our policies, practices, training, and culture, changing our system for the better. This will not happen quickly. I'm not asking people for their patience, but I am asking that we as a community prioritize this with our time, with our resources, with our energy. And at the request of APS, the officer who was the school resource officer who hit the team has been removed from Firestone and the SRO program. He is now on administrative duty, and the student was initially charged with resisting arrest, obstructing, obstructing official business, and trespass. And we did learn earlier this afternoon that that student, that um, those charges against that student have since been dropped pending uh, this use of force investigation. And Christy, coming up at five, I did reach out to the Akron Board of Education, their president. She comments on this incident and also why the mayor says that this may have something to do with the schools and the district's policy on cell phones. Mm, interesting. All right. Danielle, great job out there getting all that information, particularly last minute. Thank you so much.